With so many ideas pitching in from potential inventors, there is a likely chance of scammers sliding through to make their debut. But even with that, there is still a possibility of many people mistakenly presenting ideas that do not hold at all. Regardless of the context, we present 10 pitchers who tried presenting pyramid schemes on the very famous show, that pretty much revolves around such pitches, called Shark Tanks. Number 10, Revester. With keeping the 2008 housing bubble in perspective, Revester CEO Billy Owens pitched the idea of having a website that could predict the value of real estate in the future. Airing in Season 7, Bill asked for a $250,000 investment with an investment stake of 10% of equity. Bill was confused during the show about his targeted audience, but what made the Sharks seriously furious was when he told them that the cost of having this website by the customers will be $99.99 per month. Number 9. Sticky Note Holder The entire purpose behind sticky notes is that they're a piece of paper that sticks. Even with that, Mary Simpson brought up a new pitch that involved a separate holder attached to your device that would be able to hold the sticky notes in place while also sticking it to them as well. Number 8. No Fly Cone When it comes to using feces of no matter what creature, no human wishes to get near it regardless of how many flies it would kill. Pitched by an owner of a golden retriever, the plan behind this idea was to use dog poo to attract flies and then kill them in the cone. But what the sharks argued was that no one would want to have feces laying around on their house's floor. Number 7. Toy Garu Supposedly called a Netflix for toys, Toy Garu was pitched as an idea for parents to rent toys for their children by using the Toy Garu platform. Mark Cuban, as well as Kevin O'Leary, did invest in this pitch by investing $200,000. However, the company was not successful at all, as it filed for bankruptcy after passing of a year. Number 6. Gala Bentley Fashion Named after the person pitching idea, Gala Bentley, the idea was to have a fashion line for women over the size of 12. For a 50% stake in the company, Barbara and Damon promised to invest in Gala's idea. But surprisingly, despite the terms of the agreement being decided off-camera after the show, the Sharks never heard back from Gala again. With that, her company also closed down within a month or two. Number 5. Squirrel Boss A pitch that left all the Sharks into immense laughter? Squirrel Boss involved electrocuting harmless squirrels that dared to come near their houses, trees, and bushes. All that was needed for the electrocution was a simple remote that would have killed the squirrel on the spot. The major problem with the pitch was that it required the person to be sitting all day long looking for squirrels to come to the trap, despite the fact that this venture shows a very serious form of animal cruelty. Number 4. Track Days With a demand of $5 million with no script prepared, no cast directory, and no financial backing, Track Days was a pitch about making a movie about Motto GP. Since the people bringing the pitch were all crazy about motorbikes, and they thought that there was no movies made about them, they thought demanding an amount of $5 million would seem a very pleasant idea. Number 3. You Smell Though soaps are not very uncommon these days, and the market for speciality soaps is also apparent, Mega Cummins thought that it would be a very interesting idea to pitch in front of the sharks. She sought an amount of $55,000 for a 20% stake and her idea was accepted by three sharks. But she went for Robert Herjavec's proposal as she thought of him as the nicest person on the show. But as she later claimed, her dealings with Robert were not all that successful as both of them got into a huge disagreement. Since then, she expressed her disappointment in choosing Robert's proposal and not going with the ones of the other two sharks. Number 2. Ionic Ear Having Bluetooth headphones might have been a thing on the time of this episode being aired. Though, even now, with the introduction of AirPods, Bluetooth headphones have been a decently huge mark. The pitch involved having a Bluetooth device surgically implanted in a person's ear, and by the apparent distressing nature of the pitch, it is quite obvious for it to get rejected. Number 1. The Sullivan Generator Claiming to be an inventor with over a thousand inventions, this pitch was about an electricity-producing generator. He claimed that his generator would produce electricity by harnessing the spin of the earth. And more surprisingly, the waste this machine would produce would be magnesium and gold. Anyone with a decent background of science knows how big of a scam this idea is, and thus it got rejected by all the sharks present. 
The show has a lot to offer in the future, possibly a lot more Pyramid Schemer pitches, so make sure you don't miss out on them. Well, that's it for today. See you guys in another engrossing video. Goodbye!